Hey everyone, Jeep Life with Jeep Mama, and this is day four of the four exploring epic northern rim of the Grand Canyon adventure. Today looks like maybe it's a flapjack day. Yep, blueberry. Blueberry pancakes? Blueberry pancakes and sausage patties. Easy day today. Thanks, sir. I guess as you go on through the days, it gets harder and harder. Or are you? No. No? No, I just didn't want long cleanup because we got a long drive out of here. Yeah. So I want to be breaking camp as quick as possible and bump our way 30 some miles out of here. That was a fun trail, though. Oh, it was awesome. <clears throat> yeah, very good. It's rough. It definitely keeps the Subarus away. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> so, but it's worth it at the yeah. end. Oh yeah, this is this is one of the best points. Hey Chris, it doesn't seem like you yeah. have any chopping to do this morning. No, it's a nice easy morning. I got to really go enjoy the sunrise, which don't always get to enjoy it. Well, I shouldn't say that. Get to go and look at it, but I actually sat down on the, on the side of the rim this morning and watched it come up and, and then talked with my girls back home. Aww. So it was a good day. Which I'm going to go check it out now myself. That in the last three to four days. If you never use it, you pay the whatever $25 rental fee. Bless you. Oh, goodness. Well, one or two? Um, I'll try two. Yeah. yeah. I know. I was like, you know what? Cross you. After our tasty breakfast of blueberry pancakes and sausage and the spectacular view of the sunrise at Kelly Point, one of the best views on the northern rim of the Grand Canyon, it was back to wheeling. So we are leaving Kelly Point, and you can see our trail. The blue part is what we went in, in and we're going backtracking out on it. And you can see all the, the green right in here. That's the plateau. All the brown is canyon. So we're crossing over a very small, small part right here. Kind of cool that we're on one of these points of the Grand Canyon that juts out. We hopped in our Jeeps and headed out the 27 miles from the point to Waring Ranch. Then it was on to our next location, an outlook overlooking the Colorado River with a view that blew my mind. Our group was on an adventure of a lifetime with four exploring. We were overlanding the northwestern rim of the Grand Canyon with overlooks located in the Parachute National Monument, including some of the most remote locations in the continental United States. Some of these locations require a round trip drive of 180 miles on unpaved road. This trail out to Kelly Point reminds me a lot of rock crawling on the blue trails at Roush Creek. Um, there's lots of little spots, but it's 22 miles. I mean, there's some breaks in the trail, but yeah, this is a long journey out to the point that we camped at last night. But it's a fun little trail because you get little breaks, then you get these rocky paths. Some of them are more difficult than others, depending on your experience level. But all these Jeeps are an FJ and Gladiators are doing a kick butt job. It was around lunchtime when we finally made it back to Waring Ranch, then back into the Ponderosa. By then, it was time to fill up some of the Jeeps with much needed gas. 
So how many miles do you think we've gone since the start? Right at 200. Just a little shy, I think. I'll have to check the odometer, but it's going to be right there at 200 to this point. So I've got about 150 more to go. Oh my goodness. We're going to be cutting it close, right? Mm, yeah, we got some reserve. And the diesels are doing way better than what we figured, so they'll be fine. We'll make her. Back onto the dusty gravel roads where driving gets scary in the plumes of dust. Oh! Oh, Jesus! Can't see shit! Oh my god! Oh my god, you can't see fucking shit! As we made our way across the desert of the Arizona Strip, we hit a few shelf roads through one of the many mountains on the Strip. Whoa! Oh, there's Bob way down there. Oh. We started going down in elevation in the canyon for our first view of the Colorado River. It's the Colorado River. Once the stars came out, it was time to set up our camps, and Mary oh, man, began preparing the night's nice feast. Can you give us a hint? We're cooking <laughs> in the dark in Wouldn't the be Grand the first Canyon. Time and it won't be it's last. the best. Mona <laughs> got out and started setting up camp, and it's like, wow, it's warm here. I had to, I had to take off some layers because yeah. I was sweating. Do we have minced garlic, or we use some powder tonight? Minced. All we're having is onions and celery. Just onions and celery tonight. We're on a diet because we've been eating way too much. Yes. A little this dash is, of minced this is how garlic. We cook. You just kind of scoop it in. Sure. That's the best way. Oh, that looks good. Oh, that's good. When Chef Mary says, hand me this, you grab whatever it is so she can put it in. I think she's yep. going to need the broth first, right? Then, uh, yep, we're going to need the broth. Do you know where the broth is, Ainsley? Yep. No, the broth. Chicken, Chicken broth. Juice. Quicker. In the box. Thank you. We don't need both full in the sink. We're going to open it. It'll keep once we open it. It's tough. Oh, it still keeps in the fridge. Scalpel. <laughs> Where's your nurse? Nurse, get over here. There's two nurses here. There's a couple of them around around here. There's two, I think. And I found one. Gosh, I hope they're hungry. Action! Yep, there you go. Yeah. Good job. And you get That's the next wrong. biscuit. Get the next one. Well, I'm good. I'm good. Last night. Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm not you Mary will scoop and scoop and scoop you're not, again. You're not going away with yeah, one scoop. Don't go there. Oh, okay. We're going away with two. All right. Ready? On three. One. Off all the see if it works. Oh, come on, baby. Usually it works. 
it's it's down. Bob the Baker. <laughs> Wish there was enough for everybody. For more Jeep Life with Jeep Mama, head over to my blog at jeepmama.com.